season is over and the games begin. New Palestine's Lady Dragons come to Spartan Bowl and meet the Lady Spartans in the TV3 of the week. Welcome to Spartan Bowl and a basketball game, not just any game, but the opening game of the Indiana High School girls basketball season. Hi everybody with this is French Schummel thanking you for joining on TV3 for tonight's battle between the Lady Spartans and Lady Dragons from New Palestine High School. Around the two and a half weeks of practice and playing against your teammates is over. It all begins to go into the record books tonight. And I tell you what, the Spartans want to get off to a good start this season. Last year, we opened up with New Palestine, lost by four. Of course, they're the ones who knocked us out of the season Five. in the sectional. So, you know, obviously, we want to uh, you know start paying them back and get back on the winning record, uh, have the first game of the season a win. Lady Spartans had just one player graduate in June, a good one. Tori Boswick, so they are well acquainted with each other. Moments ago, we spoke with Lady Spartans assistant coach Daniel Hafner about his team and tonight's opponent. Coach, you've had two and a half weeks with these girls. What are the strengths as you begin the season tonight? Uh, I think our strengths are going to be some of us were bonding pretty well as a team and we're moving the ball kind of better than we have in the past. Uh, just looking for that extra pass this season versus what we did last season. So anxious to see kind of how some of our other players that really weren't in the game and didn't play as much last year get in and start helping us out. So You got a lot of veterans on this team, though. These girls yeah. saw a lot of action last year. Yeah, we got seven total seniors so uh and like I said then we have a freshman that's coming in going to help us out she's doing an excellent job in practice all over the place be extremely quick so that's the name of the game quickness and uh what about turnovers early in the season it's probably hard to eliminate all of them yeah yeah i mean we're going to have some turnovers yes. beginning of the season um like i said uh with the freshman coming in with the guards we know she's going to make some mistakes. Just the game from eighth grade to varsity is a huge <laughs> difference. So uh, we're going to uh, just kind of be working, trying to slow that down, try to slow the tempo for her down a little bit tonight and uh, let her kind of ease into some game situations and just go from there. Um, but like I said, I, I think most of our girls have played a lot, so the decision making for other parts of it should be good. Um, like I said, we're just – and go through, make hopefully make good decisions. I'm going to give you the scorecard, and I want you to tell me who the starters are. Uh, for us, it'll be Smith, uh, Dunaway, uh, Bottomley, Beckman, and Thompson. So, and then they'll have their starting five from what they had when they're sectional. So they have all five of their restarting starters. So, <laughs> um, like I said. Uh, they're going to have experience just like us. Yes. They actually have more experience than us, which I don't think we can say that much this whole entire season for the teams we're going to play. Uh, out of their top seven, I think they had one leave. So they have their top six back. So, um, like I said, their entire starting lineup's back. Um, hopefully we learn and we'll adjust from what they kind of did to us as sectional and adjust and hopefully have another good game like we did first game of the season last year. Right, you went up there to New Pal and lost only by four points. Yeah, yeah, four points. The sectional wasn't as good. They kind of got us spread out. They hit some shots early, and then they just pounded in when we tried to stay and making sure we contained the three, and they just kept pounding in, and they just kept scoring, and we just didn't have an answer during sectional. But uh, like I said, hopefully we can get a good game out of it, and like I said, I think – both teams are excited to get out season openers, so oh, like I said, we'll go from there. New Pal has a couple of girls six feet one. Is this unusual or is it usual in girls in girls basketball in high school? Well, last year East Central, I think every single one of their starters were over six foot. So um, <laughs> I think that's kind of getting to be normal. So, and we just don't really have that here. We're still pretty short. So we're just going to have to use kind of smarts and hopefully some of our intelligence a little bit to uh, make sure we make the good decisions and double team what needs to happen down low. We need to find out what they're feeding these girls and try it here at home, okay? 
Yeah, yeah. Find out what's in that water. Coach, best of luck, and we'd like to talk to you after the ball game and get your, your thoughts on, on tonight's, hopefully, a Lady Spartans victory. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Ron, let's have the lineups for these teams. Yes, for the Lady Dragons of New Palestine, they are led by 5'6 senior Haley Harrison. She's at one of the guard positions. She's number five. Jordan Reed's a 5'10 junior. She's number 24. They got a two-guard lineup, three uh, forward lineup, uh, Megan Jolly, she's a 5'5 five, five senior. She's at one of the forward positions, number 15. Leah Sieb is a 5'11 senior, number 23 at the other forward position. And forward slash center is Caitlin Heron. She's a 6'1 senior, number 25. And for the Lady Spartans, they are led by number three, Marley Spith. She's at one of the guard positions. She's 5'9. She's a senior. Lauren Thompson is a 5'6 senior at the other guard position. She's number 12. Paige Dunaway, she's a 5'5 uh, five, five Freshman Fran getting the start. Really? She's a freshman sensation. She's at one of the guard positions. And then the front court for the Connors of Spartans. They are led by 5'10 senior number 15 to Lise Bottomley. And Jessica Beckman. She rounds out the, the lineup for the Spartans. She's a 5'9 senior number 21 at the other four positions. New Pal won 18 games last season, including three in the sectional here at Spartan Bowl. The Lady Dragons lost in the regional the following week to give them a 18 win and seven lost record. The Lady Spartans won eight games and lost 16 last season. Two of those lost games, as we were talking about earlier, were to New Pal, 52 to 48 in the opening game of the season and 53 to 32 in, in the sectional. Connersville averaged last year 40.9 points a game on offense. New Palestine's offensive average was 50.7. Defense's averages were 47.9 for the Lady Spartans and 43.1 for the Lady Dragons. Tonight's junior varsity game score was 39 to 31. Unfortunately, it was in favor of New Pal. Yeah, it was a hard <laughs> fall game though, but uh, nonetheless, yes, we was. came up on the short end of the stick with the JV. Hopefully, varsities can correct that and they can walk out of here with a victory. The officials for tonight's game are Brian Boss, Ron Jopes, and Kevin Moore. We don't have their hometowns, so uh, that's all the information we have on these three guys who will be whistling tonight. Yeah, and hopefully they keep the whistles in their pocket and let the girls play. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Well, you know, in the early season, though, you're bound to have a lot of miscues. Yeah, yeah, this is their first game of the season, too, and they right. probably have some nerves as well. That's right, that's right. I'm sure there are a lot of butterflies uh, on the floor and uh, uh, on the benches, including the coaches. Oh, absolutely. This is a, you know, this is the time of the year where, again, the, the practice doesn't count anymore. This is the real deal. That's right. That's right. This is a season that begins tonight and will be ending in February with the state finals. Yeah. Uh, Spartans, Lady Spartans luckily play 12 home games and only eight on the road. Yeah, you gotta like that, especially the senior crew that's been together since pretty much elementary school. So this is a special season for them as they know that this is right. the end of the road. And following tonight's game with New Pal here at Spartan Bowl, the Spartans will be traveling to Cardinal Ritter in Indianapolis. They'll be at Mount Vernon and at Centerville before coming back to Spartan Bowl on Saturday the 17th of this month to take on Anderson. So if you're uh, hoping to try to watch the Lady Spartans in person, that'll be the next chance you get following tonight. That's again Anderson's Lady Indians, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, they'll be coming to Spartan Bowl on Saturday the 17th. Here we go. Okay, lights are dark and they are darkened and they are getting ready to introduce the Lady Sportsman's for the 2018-2019 basketball season here at CHS. Getting this crowd revved up and it will be soon to go, Ron. It's exciting. This is nothing better than Hoosier Steria here at the Bowl. <laughs> they do it right here at CHS. Oh, yeah. I think there's some trouble with Larry. They, his mic is out. He can't hear anything. Yeah, he can't speak. We got to get somebody down here to, to get him to where he can announce what's going on. Yeah, they got his thing out. 
Yeah, they don't know what's... Yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll have to scream really loudly to get, the, <laughs> get them going to... You know, e e even, even, even Larry's feeling the nerves. <laughs> First game of the season and, and his mic right. goes out. Things, things often go wrong early in the season. Yeah. Here. Right now they're trying to find out Here we go. Uh, who pulled the plug. I guess they found it and yeah. fixed it. Okay, lineups are completed, and now the fans are being asked to stand for the playing of the national anthem. I think that, yeah, he's off the air again. Yeah, so, yeah, Larry's off the air again. finer version of the National Anthem than played by the Pet Band here at CHS. That was a very nice rendition of the National Anthem as you see the girls getting ready now. Going around Michael for the last time before this season starts and you know, again they're excited they're ready to go. They're majority seniors. Paige Dunaway, a freshman breaking through. Like to see what she's got to bring to the court uh, tonight as uh, the Spartans again. This is going to be the end of an era for the most of these girls as seven out of the the 12 right. girls on the the roster are seniors. In the coach category, uh, we have an almost rookie and a veteran. Sarah Gizzi of New Pau is in her second season. And Michael Thompson begins season number 14 here at CHS. Here we go, number 24, Reed Jordan, 5'10 junior, jump center for the New Pau team. And it's tip is controlled by New Palestine. And Lady Dragons in front court. That was a hard fault to, to get that opening tip as the girls were all on the floor. So this looks so far to you know, maybe a hard fault game, physical game. It's a well, there we go. As we go, it'll be a tied up ball and it'll be Spartan's position. Yeah, you know, I remember last year when we covered the girls, they had a lot of jump balls. They were able to force a lot of jump balls again. We're not even 30 seconds into this game, and we've got bodies all over the floor. 
Blues basketball out of midcourt and over and back. So it's you know, New Powell had the ball and they stepped into backcourt. So it's out of bounds and it'll be the Spartans. Break for the Spartans. Yeah, again, 29 seconds into this game and <laughs> you know every. Everybody's, you know, leaving it on the floor, and here's the freshman sensation, Paige Dunaway with the ball, Fran. Inbound is Marley Smith, too. Paige Dunaway. Paige wears number 13, so she's not superstitious. No, <laughs> There's a shot which is missed by a Lady Spartan, rebounding a Lady Dragon, oh, and wide. down court, and kind of a wild shot, which is missed. Another wild shot, which is missed. Here's Dunaway bringing the ball out, one of the smallest gals on the floor who maybe takes it quickest. away from some of the tall ones. Yeah, she may be one of the quickest on the floor. Yes. Nice play by the Spartans, but a loose basketball picked up by New Powell. Court leading the oh, pack. She finally getting in traffic. There's a wild, finally a ball put up and in by a Lady Dragon, Kate Heron. She's one of the 6-1 players on this New Powell team. They have a couple of them. Yeah, her height came to the advantage right there, Fran, as it came right to her. She just put it back in. But, you know, New Pal forced to make some wild shots on this scrappy, so far scrappy defense from the Spartans. Yes, a lot of shots, of course, missed. Now here's Dunaway trying to bank one in, but it won't drop for her. Nice, nice rebound by a teammate, Marley Smith. Put up and in by, oh, put up by Connors. He'll miss, but a foul called. We'll have a free throw shooter. Yeah, nice. I tell you what, that was nice. Hustle there from Beckman as she goes in, and she just does not at all. Fran hesitate, goes in, gets the foul, hopefully gets some points right here at the line. At the line is Jessica Beckman. She's a 5'9", one of the seniors. It's off the front rim and missed. There's her second free throw coming up. You know, her hustle was what gave her a couple extra shots at the, at the basket there. Got to convert at least one right here. This one will drop through, and Spartans lead the ball game one to nothing. Oh, no, they're down two to one. Oh, that's right. That was a basket goodbye at New Pau. We can take it off if we want. <laughs> yeah. I don't, think, sure. I don't think New Pau would go for yeah, that. Yeah, no, they wouldn't go for no, that. No, I don't think they would like that. New Palestine in control. Slowing it down just a little bit. Right, yeah. It was long shot from out. Missed fast and furious there for a while, but... The officials all bottomly on that one. First foul of uh, Spartan. I was surprised that they took that three point shot, especially with their big wasn't underneath the basket. Free throw shooter is good. It's a new power up three to one. Good. Spartans inbound, full court press by New Palestine. Moving the ball into front oh, yeah. court. Huntersville is Marley Smith. Now called on number 15, Megan Jolly of New Palestine. Yeah, Megan just uh, being over anxious right there on that one. And ball out of bounds to the Spartans. Hit uh, Marley's hand. Smith in the corner. Looks the ball out to Bottomley. Smith takes a return pass, dribbles from one side to the other side of the oh, court. I thought, I thought she was going to go for that one. Almost a loose basketball, but a nice save by Lauren Thompson. Spartans keep control. Here's Dunaway firing one that is missed, and they fight for the nice rebound. Hustle. Dunaway grabs her own rebound. Yeah, that was nice hustle right there. And again, just not Ball paying attention. Ball away from a Spartan by a new pal gal. And she's up court, nice. loses the ball on the floor, bodies. And finally, whistle stops play. <laughs> it's ruled out of bounds Connorsville after the new Palestine gal sort of yeah. slid out of court or slid off the, uh, off the floor into a... Uh, out of bounds territory, so yeah. it's out of bounds to the Spartans. Just when I thought that both teams were slowing down a little bit, they you know, <laughs> get a lot more aggressive. That's not a, that was a good shot. Shot is missed by Spartans, rebounding, but the ball is taken away by a Lady Dragon. 
up court. Here we go. Number 15 heads for the basket. Whistle stops it on the way on her way, and she's going to have a couple of free throws. Yeah, it's going to be the second on Elise. Don't want to get her in foul trouble too early. Number 15, Elise Bottom, her second team second. Second foul of the ball game on Spartans, and unfortunately moved on the least bottom leg. Yeah, yeah, I can't, like you said, can't get her in foul trouble. Free throw is missed by the Palestine. Conference Hill will send in a sub. Gianna Struing, the 5 5 senior, will be coming in and she'll be taking a least bottomless place. Free throw good by the new by the New Palestine gal. Give them a five to one score. There's Conrad Hill across the timeline. Marley Smith is the ball handler. Beats it underway. Long shot from out is short by Conrad Hill's Lauren Thompson and it's out of bounds. The rebound taken by New Palestine. Yeah, Struig, I think she thought somebody was underneath the basket helping her and nobody was there. There's the height there from yeah, that's it, that's him out. And a rebound by New Palestine's Katie Hearn, 6 1. And as you pointed out, her height dominated the Spartans, and she put it up and in. Yeah, I mean, she's making that look easy. I mean, when she's underneath the basket, that poses lots of trouble for us. We have to really get her outside, got to box out, try to get the position. Almost halfway through the first quarter, the Spartans have yet to get a field goal. Cross court, heading for the basket, bumped by a couple of New Pal guys. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Connersville ball. Yeah, and it's not like we haven't had any good shots like coming to the rim right there. And that, ooh, that looked like it could have been out on us. But uh... Spartan ball under their basket. You know, again, that's what's happening away here. by a New Palestine the... gal. Saved by the Spartans, though. You know, the, the new pal, they are disrupting us every time. And there's lots of yes. tipping away and driving down, trying to shot. Missed, but the ball battered out of bounds by uh, Lady Dragon, so it's Connors who have all. See Beckman coming up in there, and she, you know, again, just trying to force the issue. I like the fact that she's driving, even though she sees a sea of red around her. And shot from the corner by Lady Spartan is missed. Rebounding is. New Palestine up court and a shot missed by a Lady Dragon. A rebound, a shot attempt missed. Spartans come out with the ball. Whistle stops play. Foul coming up, I believe, on uh, New Pal. Well, you know, there's so much for the guys in stripes to keep the, uh, keep the whistles in their pocket. That's right. Of course, these are you know, definite fouls. I mean, you <laughs> need to call them. I mean, this is a very physical ball game. We're not even not even right. the first quarter. This is a lot of contact. Gee. Yeah. This will stop play. The line. A couple of free throws coming up for a Lady Spartan. Yeah, look at that. Like that fake there, kind of magic esque there from Marley. And she did a little bit of a head fake. And is at the line. Marley Gotta make them right here, Fran. Marley Smith with a couple of free throws. Makes the first one. There's her second attempt coming up. Oh. Shot is missed. And the rebound goes to New Palestine. Nice dribble in there from the New Palestine girl. This is Harrison behind the circle with the ball for the Lady Dragons. She's off to her teammate, Megan Jolly. Oh, there's a drive along the baseline. Layup attempt is missed and jump ball call. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, I, 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 I get why they have the, you know, back in the old days, you know how it was. Every time there was jump ball, you would actually jump. Yeah. I, right. I kind of miss that. They call it a jump ball sometimes, but it's really a tied up ball. Right, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of miss that where you can jump. New Powell inbound. The first attempt was battered away by Lady Spartan on defense. So, again, New Palestine will flip it inbound under their own basket. Oh, almost 
a nice steal by the Spartans, but he couldn't quite pull it off as Megan Jolly comes out with it for the Lady Dragons. Now, I thought Strawick was going to get it right there, but she, did, you know, kind of slipped through her fingertips a little bit. A nice steal, nice to do. Another steal attempt, but yeah. she couldn't quite pull it off. It's number one, Gianna Strewing, who is harassing, I guess you can say, yeah. the, <laughs> the new Palestine gal. There's a shot from out by New Pal. Miss. That's going to be Missile on 32. Play. Yeah, it's going to be on Biddle there for New Pal. She pushed off. And New Pal's team personal. That's their 15th foul already. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, we could be, before this quarter's over, be at the <laughs> line. And again, we're 50% at the line right now. Got to be able to make them with the line. That's right. The well, when they give them to you. And, yeah. Inbounding the Spartans in backcourt. Strewing will take it out. Find a teammate open and it goes to Dunaway. She will hurry it across the timeline. Drives around the circle, feeds off to Smith. Marley finds her way blocked. She'll try a bounce pass, which is knocked away momentarily by New Pal, but the Spartans will keep possession. Here's Dunaway along with. It's the back of the rim and drops off into the hands of a new Palestine girl. I don't think it's going to stop her from, you know, shooting outside Dunaway. I don't think it's in her DNA. Three-point attempt on the way by New Palestine. Missed. The Lady Dragon grabs a rebound and a fight for the basketball. Ball knocked away by a New Palestine player, so it will be... Spartans putting it in play. Got a nice hustle there, you know. Dunaway had the right idea to try to knock it out off one of the girls is of New Pal's leg, but it, she missed the mark. New Pal basketball into their own basket. Shot attempt is missed. What are you looking at? I mean, that's just the rebound is taken off by another jump ball. Pal. In, in that case, I'm glad we don't have the jump ball because we're out. <laughs> we're out the height on <laughs> on that. But uh, you know, again, uh, the battle underneath between um, Heron and and Beckman is just. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah, these new pal guy gals are five ten six one. I mean, they. They bring height with them. Foul on the Spartan, number 13, Dunaway. Foul on 13, Paige Dunaway. Her first, Third team foul, first on Paige. At the line Reed for a couple of free two. throws is Jordan Reed for New Palestine. She drops the first one in. Yeah, we, 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 this may be one of the tallest teams that we've seen, we'll see. Yes. I don't know, but, uh, you know, they got a couple throws over six foot. Second one is good by the Lady Dragon. They go up nine to two, and she has four of their nine points. All from the line. Hurrying the ball up court, Connorsville. That's Lady nice Spartan foul. set up the play, loose ball, but it's saved by CHS. Yeah, we just don't seem settled so far, Fran. Our offense is just not settled at all. We just, you know, we seem like we're playing with a little bit of a panic. Forcing the issue a little bit too much. Nice. Ooh, I oh, nice like move. it though. Nice. I like the way she up, went in there. Wouldn't drop for the Spartans. There is new power hitting on McKayla Jones. As McKayla Jones scores for New Palestine. Spartans quickly, of course. Beckman with the ball. She's number 21. Uh, shot from out is missed by Connersville. Wow. A that's, couple that's of players on the floor, no whistle. Yeah, up I can't court, believe that. New Palestine. Shot along the baseline is missed. Put up and in by, put up by a New Palestine girl. She was fouled. Yeah, I'm not sure they're going to call on that Struig or, yeah, they're going to call it on her. I couldn't quite tell who they were going to get. Foul oh, yeah, yeah, from our angle, yeah, it was definitely, I thought Beckman was a little bit closer. Michaela Jones for the new Palestine team, dropping the first free throw in. They go up 12 to 2 here as just over a half a minute remains to be played in the opening quarter. Second one on its way. It's good. That new pal's been practicing their free throws. Yeah. 
four points for the Lady Dragon and Spartan Ball. Gunnersville. Yep. Again, just relax a little bit. Take this last 30 oh, seconds. Oh, there's almost yeah, a steal, and there, there, there is, is a steal one. out yeah. of midcourt. The ball thrown was away. thrown away, though, by a new Palestine girl. So the Spartans with 24 seconds to play in the opening period. We'll inbound in backcourt. Too many disruptions. Fran, new pal, just getting their hands on the ball each mm -hmm. and every time right. one of our gets the ball. We just, you know, can't compete with that. This okay, is a fast-paced game and knocked away the inbound pass by a Lady Dragon Congress's ball. Yeah, that, uh, you know, again, again, we're getting, we're, we're, we're not settled because of their press. They're, yes. Brought in play. Here's Dunaway, number 13, with the basketball. Trying to find an opening. Surrounded by yeah, getting girls in tip, red. Yeah. Here is yeah, the ball. Walk. Loose basketball put up by the Spartans. Oh, wow. He has the buzzer sounds. Hit the backboard. Yeah, it went, went over the backboard. It went over the backboard. <laughs> so needless to say, it doesn't count. <laughs> it does not count at all. <laughs> yeah, he, not settled. That's, that's not, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Offensively, the defense of New Powell's playing lights out. Well, uh, uh, they just, you know, yeah, they're playing their game. That's they for are, sure. They are playing their game, and we're not. Again, that's we're just right. not settled. That's right. We need to relax a little bit. We need to just. You know, again, certain parts of that quarter we played well defensively, but once they got their bigs inside and were able to get the glass, uh, you know, it just spelled trouble for us that first quarter. So we have to get settled offensively. That's right. I mean, they just kept us off balance throughout yeah. the first eight minutes. I mean, as you say, they just don't let us get set. Right. I mean, we, we you, you know, you mentioned earlier, we didn't have a have a field goal. We just got those two points from the right. line. And we could have had four points at the line. Um, it wasn't like we were not making bad shots. It's just none of them went in. And uh, again, I think the physicalness of New Pal is getting into our girls' head. And they're forcing the issue too much. It seems like there's that New Pal girls have more than two arms because they're, they're getting their hands on the ball each and every time. Here we go. It'll be... New Powell putting the ball in play as we begin the second quarter. Tonight's game here at Spartan Bowl, first game of the season. Yeah. Lady Spartans and the Lady Dragons from New Palestine. Spartan sets the defense, man to man. You know, these seniors have not had a victory over New Powell in their career. Hopefully we can correct the ship and... It's a loose basketball, Spartans defenders. Yeah, that's, a, that's our ball. Almost a turnover, oh, wait, wait, wait. but yeah, finally the Spartans come out with the basketball up close and yeah. got good. I like that. Number 21 for the Spartans, Jessica Beckman. She has three points. Yeah, I like the that. The Spartans four. You know, again, that's where we, you know, got to start. Anytime we have those loose balls, and we were able to force some loose balls, mm -hmm. we need to. Well, that was almost a it pass. Was a shot short by Newfound, but. One of the girls' teammates picks up the ball and puts it up and in. That's Heron. She has six points. Yeah, and she was perfect. I mean, that was right there. That one errant shot was basically a pass to their bigs inside. And, you know, that right there has been the difference of this ball game. Their height, and she walked. Uh, turnover by the Spartans. Traveling call, and it's turnover to New Palestine. As if they needed any breaks. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, they've taken advantage. And they force, I mean, again, they have forced oh, yes. a lot of these turnovers. These aren't errant turnovers as far as, you know, I mean, it, it just new pal. They, like I said, it's like they've got more than more than two arms on their body. They're, they're <laughs> like they've got more than five players. Yeah, out there. exactly. There's a shot attempt. And I missed by new pal, but somebody bumped her and she'll be at the free throw four, line. That's three, four. At least not liking that. She feels like she got all ball. And, yeah, uh, the Spartans are getting some girls in foul trouble here early. Yeah, and I'm not sure that was on Elise either. I thought that might have been on uh, on Beckman. At the line and making a free throw is Leah Side. She's a 5'11 senior. One of the smaller members right, yeah, of right. the team. Right? Yeah. Second free throw coming up, and it is good. 
New Pal, 17 points in this ball game so far. She has six of them. And, yeah, and they got a lot at the line. Yes, they've been at the line a lot. String oh. with the ball. Oh, she almost was at the stop. It's set Again, for panic. a shot, but she hesitated, and New Pal picked up a basketball, goes yeah. down and scores, and the Spartans commit a foul. Yeah, and that's going to be on Dunaway right there. That's her second. Megan Jolly was the field goal shooter and made the point. And she was fouled, so she's she's at the line. Yeah, again, that's just you know that uh, it's a little bit of a panic there from, from, from Gianna. Michael Thompson off the bench says, "Let's have a timeout and talk this thing over." Yeah, again, just got to slow down. The girls are not playing their game. They're not again. They're playing. I hate to say scared, timid, maybe? It, it appears that way, right. Uh, uh, confused or something. Uh, I mean, this is a good defense. This new foul team, they, they play so fast. Yeah. Like, it's one of the things. That we yeah. can't get set for a shot. Yeah. They definitely, without question, uh, defensively have dominated this game. Inside, being able to get their picks inside to get some easy, easy rebounds. You know, that's, uh, you know, again, it just wears wears down the smaller team. Yeah. We need to figure out how to get our quickness and and, and, and be able to get inside more and, and use our quickness against their height. But they're a fast team, too. I mean, for some big girls there, some tall girls, they're very fast, too. Yes, they are. Yeah, Michael's taking as much time as he can so they can force him. <laughs> yeah, come on. And New Pal's taking as much time as possible, too. <laughs> We're in the first half of play here tonight in this first Lady Spartans basketball season. Okay, timeout over in Connersville. Out on the floor here. Be on the offense as Triggering in will be Marley Smith. This full court press is really bothering yeah. Ron. The yeah, it has. <laughs> it's been a big bother because I mean you never know where the girls are coming from. We've had steals where the girls tip the ball from behind and look at that defense. Yeah. It just won't let us get to no. the basket. No, we can't even set a pick. No. I mean they play a terrific defense. Yeah. Ball being Again, nobody run by Jessica Beckman. Ball yep. flipped into backcourt. That's a turnover by the Spartans. It'll be out of bounds to New Power. Yeah, it just not. You know, again, this defense is so good. It makes you second guess yourself, third guess yourself. You know, again, try to force it. Not going to get the 16 points back right in one play, but sometimes you feel like you have to. Sammy Potter's number 35 comes into the game for Spartans, replacing Jessica Beckman. Yeah, Beckman's played very good tonight for the Spartans. Got three of the four points. Spartans on defense right now in the 2-3 zone trying to stop this new pal attack. But well, right now they got their bigs away from the basket. We got a bigger yes. girl in there, number 11, and she oh, threw it away. Well, that defensive Spartans forced a new pal turnover. They haven't had very many turnovers, Ron. Yeah, no, they haven't. That's one of the few they've had. Yeah, again, they got their 2-6-1 girls inside, so... Deanna Strewing is up court for the Spartans. Feeds over to Potters. She looks for somebody to come around and help her out. She finally does. Flips it across court, but it's too far out of the reach of the intended receiver and the turnover by the Spartans. Yeah, a little too high for, you know, you got to make a, a decent pass, although Jonna yeah. did get her hands on it. Yeah, she did her best to save it, but yeah. just couldn't keep it in bounds. You know, and she's a fast player too. She's one of those girls that's you know got some got some speed. Again, look at that height right there. Long that's shot missed. Yeah, right. Another Number eleven yeah. reaches up over everybody and gives the ball to a teammate that's who puts it up and in for yeah. the Lady Dragon. Eight points. Who's, who made that basket? That was a uh, uh, Heron. Okay, thanks. From one six one to another. Uh, I was blocked by her number. I saw the big tall gal, but yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, she, I mean, they, they, again, they're just camping out inside. And yes. Look at that defense. Yeah, they just, just hang on to our, just incredible. hang on to our ball handler almost, it seems like. This man-to-man -man defense of new power is something to behold. You know, it seems like whenever we give up our basket, that's when panic sets in because it's it, they're right there relentless. Yeah, it's almost a steal by New Pau, but a nice save by Marley Smith. Shot from out. Follow that by shot. Connorsville. Traveling yeah. call, or double dribbling call yeah. as the Lady Dragon starts up court. Turned over by, by them. Yeah, again, a, a, a rare turnover and right you can almost count their turnovers on one hand and then right. have some left over i think yeah. right now a couple of changes though four new players on the floor two for each team yeah unfortunately the two big girls are staying inside they're too big <laughs> right i think they should be tired of them. yeah they should be take a seat on the bench yeah but they're they're but they're they uh, aren't going to no not at all and, and again this this team is you know again fast they're blazing fast the defense is just amazing. I mean, yeah. the, the way they can guard that closely and not foul is, right. is an art. I mean. Yeah, it is. And, and our dribbling is just not as good as we normally see in that right. skew. Again, see, to there's force another miscue there. Tight defense. Here's a whistle. And it's going to be a Spartan. Yeah, again, forcing the issue, trying to get something to happen. This one is on Gio Bennett. She wears number two. She yeah. and Gianna String are identical twins. Hey, I, I forgot. I had to look at the number. You I do to look too. At the number. <laughs> Both of them play very similar. Here's Kate Heron making a free throw for the Lady Dragons. They go up 23 to four. And it's the other String gal coming in now. That one is short. Oh, wow! Look, I thought my stuff. That <laughs> six-one gal had a. Had a hand on handed, it. but it rolled Man. off and into the arms of a Spartan. This is Marley Smith with the ball. Goes to Beckman. She dribbles around trying to get rid of her defender. Beats out to Smith. She starts to drive down and a blocking foul going to be yeah, called. Yeah, he's going to be on 15. Yeah. Foul on 15, Megan Jolly. That's on Megan Jolly of the Lady Dragons. They're seven, so they're six, but it, so it's a non-shooting foul. Marley Smith comes out as number two, Giovanna Strewing comes into the lineup. Shot from deep in the corner by the Spartans, Dunaway is missed, and it is out of bounds to see who touched it last. All right, shower ball. Lady probably. Dragon. You know, again, like Dunaway, she's 0 for 3 from threes, but that's not going to stop her. She's you know, she's a fighter, she's she's a shooter. Yes. Here we go. Barton, Jessica Beckman. Again, screwing just a there's, little too. There's a pass attempt and intercepted by New Pound. They turn it into a couple of points. It's driving down, putting the ball up and in is Harrison. Basket. Yeah, your pal yeah. has it. Up court. Perfect. I mean, yep. that's up and in. You, you have your trailer. Who's the trailer. Kate Heron scores. Six one. She's right under the basket. That was a perfect pass. Timeout taken by the Spartans as it'll be Michael Thompson wanting to talk out. to his charges again here. Yeah. Again the. The, the height, the speed, yes. um, the, the defense, uh, all favor New Pal. Uh, again, our, our girls just have not been able to be settled offensively. Um, and it seems like every time we pick up our dribble and we, we, we stop our dribble, that's when it seems like panic sets in. Again, not, we're not able to set any plays. Um, they they blasted through our screens. I mean, it's yes, just, this is just, they're good. Well, right there, they've done everything right. I yeah, mean, you can't take it away from them. Yeah, they're I mean, a good team. Yeah, they're a very good team. You know, as Marley's getting a breather. Okay, we have the two stirring girls in there. Sammy Potter's in there for the Spartans. Dunaway 
and Beckman are the five gals on the floor in the white uniforms right now. All trying to work the ball against this man-to-man -man defense of New Powell. Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's almost like it's, you know, seven to five. Uh, they got seven right. players out there. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice shot put up and in, and a foul call will have a free throw shooter at the line. Yeah, that was a beautiful Four play there from Beckman as she went inside again, got the two bigs right there. She split them in half yeah. and kissed it off the glass and got some two. We need right. to get. Finally broke through that yeah. defense of, of New Powell. Yeah, she. Players going to check in here. Right now, coming back in for Condor Hill is Lauren Thompson and number two, Giovanna Storing goes to the bench. Meanwhile, at the line, it will be Connorsville getting a free throw. Number 21, Jesse Gale, 5'9 senior here at CHS. She has six points. Lawrence trail by 20, though. You know, a lot of times when you get that lane, even up, even going against two of their bigs, you good things can happen. Jessica showed it right there. A little over two minutes to play in the opening half. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was a good shot. shot. Jumper Jordan by number Reed. 24, Jordan Reed for New Powell. She has six points. Yeah, Good balance right. scoring by yeah, this Newcastle team, isn't it? Yeah, very nice balance. Yeah, that was a walk. Traveling called on the Spartans. Another early season turnover. Yeah. <laughs> I don't well, know how to explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, their defense has forced a lot of turnovers. That right there was just a little bit of a miscue there on, on, on Beckman's part. But, uh, you know, again, for the most part, our, our, our turnovers have been they forced us in the turnovers. That, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I was going to say, she's the this smallest girl on the court trying to do something <laughs> like that. Up court for the Spartans is Gianna Strewing, number, number one. Yeah, Loose ball under the Spartan basket. And Mupal takes advantage of the turnover wow. and drops it in for, for, a free throw or for a field goal. Jordan Reed hits the two-pointer. Eight points for that young lady. And the Spartans are really going to have it. Challenging second half if they're going to get in this ball game. <laughs> yeah, a very mean, challenging second half. Um, you know, it's unfortunate because again these girls, you know, played so hard last sure. year against New Pal, losing by four. And I say these girls because the majority of the players on the court is yeah, from last oh, year. Nice driving the basket, again, putting Beckman it up again. and in. Nice move by Jessica Beckman. Yeah, I mean she, you know, again she's made a couple turnovers. She corrects it by, you know, not giving up and driving. But it was driving through the Spartans defense and scoring Leah Syme. Yeah, that was that was like a walk in the park for That's Syme. right. Nobody attempted yeah. to play defense on her. This ball picked up by Connor Zill. Nice save. From out. Beckman hits the front rim on a three-point try. Rebounding is New Powell up court. Stopping 10 feet away, and that, bouncing, yeah. backing, backing one in off the backboard. Jordan Reed, she's yeah. a one-man wrecking crew. She is. She's turned it on here this last minute of this half. I mean, and that's fundamental right there. That's a Tim Duncan shot where she just tops and pops <laughs> it off the glass. Right. Well, it looks as if the that's Spartans not a are good not pass. going to be in double figures as we have reached the uh, halftime mark. You can hear the horn in the background signaling the end of the first 60 minutes of this ball game. And it is not been good for the Lady Spartans, to say the least. Score at halftime is New Palestine's Lady Dragons and the uh, Lady Spartans of Connorsville, 9. 13 to 2 was the first quarter score. Again, 35 to 9 right now. The Lady Dragons from New Pau way out in front of the ball game. Yeah, that's. <laughs> well, they put on a show, I'll say that for them. Yeah, they did. It was a very, very impressive. Uh, An offensive show, I guess, too. Yeah, well, their offense <laughs> was, was set up by that good defense. 
I mean, a very yes. good offense set up by that uh, uh, very good defense. And, and a lot of their shots, they took advantage of their height. Um, you know, they got inside. They had a lot of play designed to get inside, get their big zags. But, and, and again, it seemed like every time that we would pick up our dribble, every time that we would, we, we just played timid, scared, we played uh, just nervous. And right, you know, they, that they, we just couldn't play our game at all. No, not they, at all. They dominated play throughout this, throughout this first half. They sure did. How's about some scoring, Ron? Yes, for the uh, New Palestine Dragons, as you mentioned earlier, Fran, a very balanced scoring. Uh, Haley Harrison has two points. Megan Jolly has three. Michaela Jones, six. Leah Saib has two. And the two big ones, uh, Jordan Reed, she lit it up that last minute. She got she has 10 points. And Kaitlyn Heron, she has 12 for their 35 points. For the Gunners of Spartans, and Jessica Beckham, she has eight. And uh, Marley Smith has one. What do you think is going on at halftime with Michael Thompson? He's going to try to his tactics. Time to calm down. I mean, that's, that's what you feel. Calm down. We're not going to get, you know, 26 points in one play. Just to calm down a little bit, play our game, relax a little bit. Don't be intimidated by that defense. Um, but again, I would expect that uh, New Pals going to continue to pressure. So we got to somehow, somehow overcome that that pressure defense. You have to slow them down some way. Yeah, and we got to get. We have to get. Uh, the position uh, under the basket. We got to get position under the basket to get some rebounds. They've had three or four extra shots with their bigs inside, and you know, again, just a a, a, core, a half to forget for the Spartans. Right now is Spartan Ed uh, performing for the fans here at the Spartan Bowl tonight in this opening ball game of the season. The Lady Spartans and the Lady Dragons from New Palestine are at it in tonight's first ball game. 39 to 31 was the final as the junior varsity Lady Spartans lose in their first ball game of the season. 35 to 9 at halftime. New foul over the Lady Spartans here at Spartan Bowl. And Ron and I will be back with the second half of this ball game right after this brief message. Play basketball. Second half about to begin here at Spartan Bowl tonight. Lady Spartans. Way behind. Let's see what they can do as they do. get the ball to open up the second half. You know, this is what you do. You just pretend that that first half didn't happen. <laughs> That's right. That you, over. you can wipe that out of your yeah. mind. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because halves like that can just linger on, not just for the next half, but for the next game. That's true. Good point. Number 12, 21, Jessica Beckman handles the basketball for the Lady Spartan. Jock from out is missed. And... A rebound by a new Pau Gao and Pau on the Spartans' Jessica Beckman for trying to grab the ball back. You know, I tell you what, Paige is going to have to learn to follow her shot, especially when we're being, you know, we got, you know, two twin towers under the basket for them to give yes. us that extra, extra rebounder. So follow your shot. That's very important. Nice hustle there from Paige. Knocked yeah, it out of the way. Yeah, play up by a Lady Spartan under the Lady Dragon basket. But it will be by Connersville, so New Powell puts it in play. From the corner, a three-pointer, which is missed. Hit the rim and bounced up over the backboard, out of bounds, Connersville. You know, again, just got to, again, relax. But that, I mean, that's, that's all you have to do. Dunaway and Smith bring the ball across the timeline for the Spartans in their guard positions. Number 13, a freshman. Looks ball over to Lauren Thompson. She's a senior at CHS. Hey, look at that. I mean, still the defense is just... Right. I mean, it's just... Uh, this Barton just can't move. No. No, not at all. I mean, it's... 
Now that's a foul on them. Jordan, he commits the first foul of the second half on the new foul. Out of bounds, Connersville. Here's Smith, number three. Shot from the corner, looked pretty good, but it didn't drop for the Lady Spartan. The rebound comes out for a Lady Dragon. Driving their baseline, going up and laying it up in. Nice move, Jordan yeah. Reed. That was a High very move. nice move, yeah. She. Yeah, that was more likely her weak side. She, right, I mean, she drove in from, from yeah, the left did. side and the, the Spartan daughter, but she wasn't able to stop oh. her. Shot from out by Connersville's Smith is off the mark. The rebound goes to Lady er, to a Lady Dragon, as if that's something new here. Right, tonight, yeah. Ron. yeah there's, a oh, there's a three pointer put up and in by Ailey Harrison. And that's the first three pointer that they've had. Any Unreal, team. isn't it? Yeah, that's crazy. Five points so far in this third period by New Powell. The Spartans are scoreless and a shot missed by. Connersville, New Powell grabs the rebound, drives up court, stops at the baseline. Kate Heron puts it in. She has 14 points. Yeah, and these are some easy shots. I mean, it's not like they're so that, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're getting down the court very quickly. There's a shot by the Spartan, but the ball was batted down. Loose ball picked up by oh, New Powell. Coming down court, laying it up and in. And a foul Four called on Connersville. That's her fourth. We'll find out if it was at least touched her or not. She says she didn't. And no, she did not. Not sure why they called the foul on that. She clearly didn't touch her. Foul called on Bottomley. Yeah, she's not happy at all. She didn't. She's, she's frustrated. Martin makes the wholesale changes here as the field goal shooter and score. Jordan Reed goes to the free throw line for one shot. Yeah, that wasn't a good call at all. Again, Bottomley clearly did not touch her. Free throw is good, and New Powell is way up in this ball game. 45 to 9. 15 points for the New Palestine girl. Yeah, and she really exploded that last minute and a half. Uh, Reed, or I'm sorry, Heron. Yeah, no, Reed, I'm sorry. Yeah, Reed. Again, we're still with the ball. You know, e e I mean, even little passes like that we're dropping. It's just, I mean, just not not our night at all. Alyssa Beckner, wow. the ball for the Spartans. Connorsville loses control up court on a fast break. Shot missed. Rebound put up and in. Wow. Aaron. 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 Now here's strewing up court for Connorsville. 16 points for the new pal shooter that just scored, Aaron. Shot attempt by Connorsville. Rebounding again is New Palestine. And they'll set up a play here. Gosh, they slowed things down wrong. Yeah, that's shocking. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, might as well eat some clock. They're up 38, so <laughs> you know, might as well eat some clock a little bit. Again, the Spartans. Right, they're probably trying to catch their breath, I yep. imagine. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> winded. No, There's well, a fight yeah. for the rebound, and it's victory by the Spartans. Uh, the foul uh, called on the new foul guy. Yeah, that was a uh, tight seven. hustle there from Strewing there, and uh, you know she's probably going to be filling that later on. New Powell is going to send in four new players here. Imagine those other gals are winning because of yeah. the way they've been playing. Yeah, well these girls have came to come in, and you know, they got another six-one girl, and these girls have, have played very yeah, well is, too. This is their second crew off the bench. Yeah. And they've been just as fast. <laughs> Here's Connorsville quickly across the timeline. Two string girls are in the lineup for CHS. Yeah. Right now they're bouncing the ball between themselves, trying to get somebody loose. And boy, this defense. Yeah, this is uh, the It hasn't team. given up yeah, at yeah, all by New Pound there. They were almost forced to there, but uh, probably maybe the only time they did, it didn't work for them in the Spartans' key possession. Here's a pushing foul called on a New Pal gal. This is going to be called on Taylor Middle. Yeah, that's her second foul. Her you, get it. you notice that last, you know, Sammy was at the top of the line and she picked up her dribble and, you know, there was a there was a panic or, or Cranfield. One of them was there was kind of a, a, a panic there. 
nobody's there to help. Loose ball by Connors Hill out of bounds on the turnover. It goes to Palestine. Spartans fall back on defense, setting up a 2-3 zone. A lot of season left. This is should not be an indicator of what's to come. It's just, you know, this is the first game of the season. You know, New Pal obviously handled the nerves a whole lot better than we have. Yes, shot from in and out by New Pal, but ball picked up wow. on the rebound, put up an in by Biddle. A Lady Dragon, number 32, Dayton Biddle. Yeah, she, I mean, again, some of their passes, again, bounce pass inside, whereas when we bounce pass it, it's, you know, they, they disrupt it. As Michael's clean, cleaning the, uh, Tonight the bench is coming in for the Spartans. Time called as Connorsville's four players leave the floor and replaced by four more. The only one remaining in the game is number three, Marley Smith. Pick up these other gals. I don't, I don't know if, I mean, Marley, she's one of those, she'll, she'll play until tomorrow. <laughs> she, she, she'll try to she'll try to make sure she'll play as long as she can until we come back. Yeah, out we about getting another gal free as they feed her the ball and number 15 lays it up and in. Megan Jolly, she has five. That's all she has, Ron. That's all she has. I know. I'm shocked at that <laughs> yes. too. I looked down there and thought we well, got to have more. Yeah, there ought to be a one in front of that, that five, I think, too. But apparently not. Yeah, that hit the guy in stripes and we're all out of bounds that. to the Spartans. You know, we've been scoreless this whole quarter. Right, and we only have two and a half minutes left in it. Inbounding Connersville. Yeah, I mean these girls are gonna to go to sleep tonight and they're gonna <laughs> I mean it's my they're gonna they're gonna dream of dragons. Foul called for guarding too closely on number fifteen, Megan Jolly of Foul. Fifteen, Megan Jolly, her third team's fourth. It's the fourth of the second half on New Palestine. Yeah, and again, they had some early foul trouble, and they kind of corrected that there towards the end of the first half. And here we go again, but you would not know it. Uh, you know, that, they, that they've got more fouls than we. That Beckman with the ball for Connorsville. Works over to Alyssa Beckner and takes the return pass. Bodies on the floor, whistle. Foul called on Jones, the, the Lady Dragons. That's the... That's their fifth foul. I mean, that's, that's, you know, it, it, I hate to say this, it seems like we may need to get to the line to get, get off this, you know, get out of the single digits. Right. Slow things down. And there's a player on the floor for Connorsville, but yeah, she, she gets slowly up as New Pout the other end. What's new, huh? Yeah. And that's that's their first, that's her first two points. And, uh, that's you know, Claire Cherry, who's a 6 1 senior. Yeah, she's she's been disruptive all night. Shot attempt by Connors Hill, missed. Rebounding. Foul. Well, we've said that a lot. New yeah. foul rebounding. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's one of those things where. You know, again, the, the nice. Uh, again, that's that's one of those things where, you know, that's that's why that's why they're up 42 or 44. Now called on a Spartan. This will be on Conrad's Tylus and Beckner. Not shooting foul. So it will be put in play by Palestine and the end of the floor. Inbounding and a one-handed jump shot in two-point land, but it's yeah, eight, I mean, it goes in. Eight points, you know, you're almost speechless at, right, at times watching this. <laughs> I, mean. I know. And see, again, miss, you, you hate to bring that up, but again, there's no reason to miss you know, easy passes like that. Almost walks right there. Right, the defense of New Palestine just keeps us our kids pushed down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this game started with you know a fight for the the tip. Yes. There's a turnaround oh. shot that's in and out by Connersville's Jessica Beckman. 
up court quickly is New Pau. Shot is missed. One of the few times they missed here in the Man, second half, isn't it? Yeah. Now they will well, keep at it. No. Terrible. They miss again. So, gee, the Spartans get a, a, quick, quick, we a got rebound right here. here. Seconds ticking off. We are at the end of the third period, and it is 55 for the Lady Dragons as they have a 20 point third quarter. Yeah. And the Spartans have a zero third quarter. Yeah, you know, and I tell you, girls are not quitters, though. I mean, you saw the hustle there from them towards the end, trying to get off the, off, the, off, off, off the goose egg. And, you know, Beckman, she has been a bright spot tonight, uh, you know, trying to get inside, trying to make something happen. This is just a, a better team. I mean, that's all you can say, just a better team. And we need to take this opportunity and learn from that. Um, you know, nobody likes moral victories, uh, but let's just uh, go out here and play some, some Spartan basketball. Uh, you know, leave everything to chance. Uh, we're not going to, you know, score 46. Right. And, you know, we're not going <laughs> to come back. I mean, it's, you know, Yogi Bear says it's not over till it's over. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we have news for it. Yeah, yeah, we have. News for it. <laughs> but again, these girls. The, one good thing that, that that we're blessed to witness is that these girls don't ever give up. I mean, they That's don't true. ever yeah, give up. That's right. You yeah. saw that with Elise earlier. Yeah. With, she went after that girl and didn't make the foul. She's, you know, she's, she, she's a warrior. I mean, all these girls, again, this is their last season together. They've been playing since elementary school. Yes, I know it. The seniors, right? Yeah. It will be Lady Dragons basketball as the period begins. That's how much rude I don't have the ball. <laughs> they could put some of their starters back in. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll see. Here's 15 firing and missing. That, but that's crazy. A teammate putting up and in as number 25 grabs a rebound. Kate okay. hey, Aaron scores. 18 points tonight, young gal from New Palestine. Yeah, I mean, and, and she was, we had two girls in between her and the basket. She yes. She that height. And the ball battered away by a New Palestine defender. Conrathville will keep control. Ball flipped in to Marley Smith. Faces those girls in red from New Palestine. Feeds off. Ball comes cross court to Lauren Thompson. Smith starts to drive down. Can't get through. Comes back out. Yeah, it, it's done away. Spots a teammate along the baseline. Tries to hook one up and in. Oh. Won't go. And a couple of shots at the basket. Neither one would drop. No, no I mean, again, that's just that's, that's unreal. And he's been a little on that basket of the Spartans end all night long. Yeah. Oh, missed by New Pal. A rebound by the Spartans. Up court and. Only on 24, Jordan Reed. Over guarding, I, yeah. over guarding, I think, will. Oh, number five. I thought they were going to get on 24, but they... It was a shooting foul, so at the line, Connor Hill. Jessica Beckman, she's one of the seniors on this team. We're in the fourth period to play here tonight. Free throw is good. Martin's at 10 points. Yep. Beckman has nine of them. Really? Yeah. There's the second free throw coming up, and this one is good. And that's uh, 10 points for her. So that, see, that's just, that's, wow. Yeah, a quick, those two points quickly wiped out by the Lady Dragons as they drive down court. The elite's in and hits her seventh point. Yeah, you know, I mean, that, that, you know, that's fast. I mean, they, they, you talk about wipe it out, they wiped it out fast. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Behind her. Ball taken by Dunaway. She's fouled as she was dribbling around a couple of Lady Dragons. Two free throws coming up. That's the seventh foul on 
New Palestine. So Connor from now will be at the free throw line, whether it's a shooting foul or not. Number 13, Paige Dunaway, a 5'5 freshman who played at middle school last year. This is the free throw. Rims the basket and drops off. You know, Miss Lefty there, you know, again, got a bright future watching her again. Not a not a good game to judge her talent. Uh, believe me, it's going to shine this season. <laughs> As she hits the second free throw. Quickly up court. New Palestine. Driving around and over guarding on Connorsville's Dunaway. I think it was about Smith. Okay. Yeah, I I I didn't yeah, yeah, I thought was, he just had a three. Yeah, okay. And not a one. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Number three and number thirteen. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Close. <laughs> I can see where you got it from. I don't know what that what they were thinking. Driving down. Trying a shot miss, but you will have a couple of free throws coming up here. Number 24, Jordan Reed. I think. Number 21, Jessica Beckman. It'll be on Beckman. Her second team's fifth. I was afraid that they were going to call it on Jordan bottom because that would have been her fifth. Team. Yes. Here, Jordan Reed at the line. The free throw is good. Well, they're one of their big girls is coming out. <laughs> we'll see if that makes a difference. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> girls have played big holes, yeah, even though they're right. not. Free throw shooter is good. Number 24, Jordan Reed. 17 points for that young lady. Yeah. I'm wondering what the New Palestine coach will work on. I mean, I guess you'll just tell them to, as they get ready for their next game, yeah, just, just keep doing, keep what doing, you're doing right? Good job. Oh, there's the best three, shot of the night for Lawrence. Lawrence is a three pointer from that behind the free throws. Are, okay, Paige yeah. Dunaway, was it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Miss Lefty there got. Again, I, I don't think if you're watching this now and you just picked it up or you're watching this on YouTube, uh, local TV3, that this is an, any indication of what we're going to see the rest of the season. Yes. This is just a, a game that's, you know, we played a great team, and wow, that's. In the foul call, a f basket is made, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, yeah. oh, charging foul call. Yeah. On New Palestine. Spartan ball with just over five to play in tonight's ball game. You know, again, I, ju I, I again, don't think that, you know, oh, man, these girls are going to run out every time. It's not. Shot, shot from out by Dunaway is missed. Oh, wow. Rebound and, and missed and missed and the foul call. So you're going to be on number 23 again, see. <laughs> And again, these girls are not giving up. Not at all. We're down to 46, and they're they're still playing. You know, as if they're down. This is Jessica Beckman at the, at the free throw line for the Spartans. Hits the free throw. Second try coming up. This one is good. Spartans have hit more free throws than they have field goals, and they're yeah, they have, she they have 12 have. points yeah. for the Lady Spartans, which is good. I mean, we've missed yes, three or f we've missed a few free throws, but yeah, it's a, that's a, it's a bright spot. Whistle stops play as the ball handler for yeah, New Powell back. turned around trying to get set for a shot when she was yeah. fouled. That's her third. Uh, 21, just the back Her third, team six. Beckman's third. Team six. Shooting foul is good. Lay aside the team two. New foul changing. Got a lot of ball on that one. A couple of girls back in here. Yeah. 
Free throw is on its way. And good by number 23, Leah Sainz. Leah Sparks, number one, Jayana Struing in the lineup. She has nine points. You talk about balance scoring. That's you know, the, these new Palestine dragons. Yes. These these girls, you know, the definition of that. Spartans on the attack, trying to get somebody loose. There is, but the shot is missed. Rebounding quickly, new foul. And breaking up the play at the New Palestine end of the court was Connersville's Gianna Sturing. Yeah, you know, I tell you, I like her. You know, <laughs> I like her and her sister. I mean, just they, you know, they don't they don't know how to quit. Paige, you know, driving inside, you know, one of the smallest girls against the biggest girl in the court. You know, no fear getting down 46, and, and we're still playing. We're still hustling. Lady Spartans, uh, Lady Dragons on the attack. This is Tate and Biddle with the ball. Get around to the corner. Wow, that, oh, that, we've had that many times. Teammate under the basket feeds the ball to her, and Leah Sine puts it up and in. Yeah. Ten points for that girl. Now the Spartans on the attack. Stirring from the corner. Shot, three-pointer is missed. Rebounding, though, is a teammate. And this shot is missed. And finally, the new foul comes out with a rebound. Lady Dragons on the attack. There's a shot pulled up, missed. And Connorsville's done away out with it. Feeds off to Beckman, drives down. Her shot is missed. Rebounding by stirring, her shot is missed. Yeah, we had kind of, you know, again, had some, some big girls underneath to, to contest it. There's another one. It was nice by Paige, nice. Yeah, there's a feed into a That's bottom lead. she's out. Player under the basket. That should be her fourth. One of them wasn't a wasn't a foul, but uh, nonetheless, that's her fifth. Yeah, at least bottom lane you know, is back to the fifth foul. She comes out of the ball game. The assignment will be at the free throw line for the foul. Coming in is Sandy Potters, number 35. You can only go up from here, Fran. I mean, that's... Free throw is missed by a new pal. That hasn't happened very often. Yeah, last. no, it hasn't. And, and the things right there, as you see Beckman coming out, she was upset that there wasn't a push-off foul. It's a sophomore coming in for the start of Miranda Cranfield, number 33. She's a 5'9 sophomore. Wow, that's a oh, ball put in play by the Lady Dragons. And I don't and have her up I don't this. either. It's up and in by number 43, whoever that is. Yeah. Well, now they got people that we don't even have on our <laughs> list. That's right. I'd say Addie Jones, that's who. Spartans on the attack. This defense by New Powell has been something to watch here tonight, Ron. Yes. They've kept our girls off balance in every shot. They've made yeah. every shot a tough one to, yeah, to come have. by. Yeah, and again, that's that's something that, you know, we have to and we have to get better to handle the pressure. New Powell on the attack. Fight for the ball. Nice steal by Conrosville's Sammy Potters. You know, it just seemed from the very beginning of the ball game that they, you know, go, that they, you know, again, Long stunned us, him. and we haven't been able to, to to get unstunned. We haven't been able to catch our berries. No. You know, their defense was just very physical. That, geez. Oh, there's a, the height of that there girl. Is. Is obvious there as Claire Cherry scores. She's 6-1. Four points for that. Uh, young lady. Surprising, yeah. We're under two minutes to play in tonight's yeah. ball game. And, and, and what Michael may, may, and again, just guessing what he may work on with the girls is that, you know, we need to be physical as well when the team is, is yes. you know, again, yes. taking your eye off the ball right there can't happen. And they're going to call on that one. Now on Dunaway. 
but you know what we need to do is is you know if somebody's going to be physical that's we need to be physical back I don't know, it seems like, Ron, the element of surprise here tonight. Right. Yeah. Uh, Lady Spartan just couldn't recover. No, no, again, it's it's like, you know, in, in, in a fight, if you get that first shot that stuns you, I mean, it, 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 could be, it, it may take a while for it to be over, but it's essentially okay, over, and that's just unreal. Three throws missed by a new Palestine girl, but a Lady Dragon teammate grabs the ball, the rebound, and puts it up. And scores. Work on blocking out. Yes. 17 one side of the scoreboard here tonight, 71 on the other. Yeah, that's, and it's on the wrong. Yes. You know, I think when people read this score, they're going to go yeah, find it almost. What happened? <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, how could that be? Yeah, a lot of promise coming into the season. Again, you know, we have a lot of seniors on this, on this team. You know, I don't think this is going to be indicative of how the season's going to go, but we definitely, you know, have some issues that need to be need to be fixed. They have a lot, and they don't. They only can have one practice. They go to Indianapolis Ritter on Saturday. Oh yeah, and Ritter, you know, they're tough. And yes. That's, again, passes like that. Pass intercepted continue. by the Spart by uh, the Lady yeah. Dragon, as the Spartans just sort of lob the ball, and yeah, that won't work against New Palestine. No, it won't, and, and it hasn't. It won't work against anybody. You can play. A, I don't care who you play. If you play like that and yes. start lobbing ball. You, you can play an elementary school team, and they're, they're going to win. That's right. And we've got to play with some ferociousness. And again, we just got. Utah controlling the ball. Will they go for a, a last shot here as we are down to 20 seconds? But if any any coach can can right this ship, it's Michael Thompson. We've seen it time and time again where, sure, you know, he's, he's you know, filled in some holes and corrected. As you see, she's doing, she's, again, she's playing her heart out. Spartan defender knocks the ball away, stops the clock. It will be Lady Dragon basketball. That girl had one foot in yeah, that court. I, I was wondering, you know, where was the car? Well, you know, well, the you riff was right on it, but he probably thinks, oh, well. But yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Final buzzer. This ball game has come to a close. And at 71 to 17 is the final score here tonight. New Palestine all the way, 13 to 2 at the first break. At halftime, 35 to 9. At the end of 3, 55 to 9. The final 71 to 17. Wow, that's all you can say. That's about the best way to describe it. Yeah. That's one of the one of these games that you you know you just have to forget. Yes, you you, you right. can't remember for a no, second. No, pretend this didn't happen. Yeah, like this that. is completely over. This is a scrimmage. It's over. I mean, you have to move on now. Will Michael will Michael work on corrections? There, there's no question about it. That's right. I mean, Michael Michael's one of those coaches. He's an ex of those guy. He you know he's gonna he's gonna correct this ship. And uh, but again, the play on you know lackadaisical passes. Um, you know, you just can't, you you have to know not to be able to do that. You have to know not to be able to make those lackadaisical passes. So, you uh, know. I I don't think these ladies are to play another ball game like this one. I hope not. You know, I, well, I hope not good. at all. And, and again, this is not an indicative of of, of what, how this season is going to go. How about some scoring, Ron? Oh, yes. For the uh, New Palestine Dragons, it's going to take me forever for that one. Uh, Haley Harrison had two points. Claire Cherry, she had six. Uh, Megan Jolly had five. Of course, she was in the girls' spaces all game long. Uh, Michaela Jones had eight. Leah Seed, 11. Jordan Reed, 17. Kayla Heron, 18. So that all scores. Uh, Tatum Biddle had two. And Addie Jones came off the bench to a roar from the New Pal. Uh, side of the, of the field. One point for her. For the Cowboys of Spartans, Marley Smith had one. Paige Dunaway had four. And Jessica Beckman had 12 points for the Cowboys of Spartans. It seems like no matter who the Lady Dragons had on the floor, they didn't miss a beat. No, they didn't. You couldn't tell the difference, no, could you? No, not at all. Starters. Not at all. A good bench. Yeah, very good bench, yes. very deep bench. It did seem like again, it did. I, I couldn't tell who was the starters and who was who was on the bench. I mean, they were absolutely phenomenal. 
71 to 17. You have any final words here before we talk with the coach? Just forget about <laughs> this game. That's what you got to do. Okay, stay with us here in just a moment. We'll be speaking with the coach about tonight's game. After a game like this, what do you tell your team? Got to come out and be ready for the, you know, Saturday. Um, tough loss. Uh, got to make sure we put in a lot of effort. And uh, just like I said, we got to make sure we get back and rebound. I think that was the two big issues that I hope the team learned and uh, practice. We got to make sure we focus on rebounding and sprinting back, not just jogging, let them have layups. This pressure defense really bothered the Lady Spartans. Yeah, uh, I think it just was the issue at the beginning where we just mm -hmm. had trouble getting the ball and go in. But I think at the end of the first quarter, we're only down seven and we really didn't have, well, I think we had two points at the end of the first quarter and it just, we couldn't see, get the ball to go in and it just, it kept trickling from there. Our defense couldn't handle their quick offense, apparently. Uh, I like, I think our defense was fine in the half court. It just, we sometimes never got back and got into the position, so they got the quick scores that way. So, um, like I said, it's just that transition. We're going to have to make sure the ladies understand they have to get back and mm -hmm. make sure we block out and rebound. I think they had 10 offensive rebounds in the first quarter or something like that, and uh, just going to have to make sure we get back. Yeah, the rebounding uh, really needs to be worked on. What are you expecting at Cardinal Ritter Saturday. Uh, I'm hoping we have put a lot more effort <laughs> in. <laughs> you hope they know how to carbon copy of yeah. New Palestine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. like I said, go and start looking and reviewing, try and get ready for them too. But like I said, we got to make sure we focus on us. And I think if we focus on us, I think that's going to help us out for every team. So. New Pal looked like they were at, at mid-season form almost. Yeah, they, they came out and they 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 were all over the place so and like i said i think we just want to learn and try to make sure we're aggressive right they were aggressive that was the word i was looking for they were aggressive throughout the game yes yeah, yes they were they they never let up so and that's where we need to be and with seniors and everything we have it just that that's kind of the frustrating of this loss was we thought we might have been the some of the yes. aggressive and yes we did not have that so it's hard to look uh, for a bright spot in tonight's ball game. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, so like I said, <coughs> big shock I think for everybody. So at Spartan Bowl, Coach, and the best of luck in in your next ball games, and you'll be back here at Spartan Bowl on the seventeenth to yep. take on Anderson. Yep. So thanks, right, Coach. Thank you. Thanks. Daniel Hafner, who is uh, assistant varsity coach here at CHS for the Lady Spartans, joining us after tonight's ball game. 71-17 was the final score, as was the Lady Dragons from New Palestine over the Lady Spartans in the first ball game of the season. Thanks, everybody, for watching Spartan Sports on TV3. For Ron Wiley, this is Fran Schomo. Good evening.